here at the Razor Clam and Seafood Festival here in Ocean Shores, which is returning this weekend under glorious blue skies. And Scott Nagel is here from up at the Dungeness Crab Festival up in uh, Port Angeles and Squim area. And he's our crab wrangler and has come down with all this great crab. And Scott, tell us a little bit about how you able to wrangle all these crabs here into Ocean Shores for this weekend. Well, we're having a great big crab feed. We just arrived 1,300 incredible crabs from the Quinault tribe. Uh, tribal fishermen have been out fishing yesterday and today. They just arrived. They're alive and kicking. And you can't get better crab unless you get it yourself. And we'll be cooking them all weekend long. We got, as I said, over 1,300 dinners here. So come on down. Not only crab, but we have razor clams. Also coming from the Quinault tribe fishermen. And we got 120 pounds of razor clams ready to go in uh, chowder and seafood dishes. And then 40 other menu items. We have scallops, we have salmon, we got oysters. We have everything. All the best food are from local folks like Bennett's Fish Shack, which is of course the best fish and chips anywhere. Uh, from all over the Northwest, including scallops from Alaska. So, and of course, regular food, because not everybody likes seafood. <laughs> so, uh, what's a little bit different this year? Uh, it looks like you've got a, quite a few, quite a number of vendors here, and anything new wrinkles to the festival this year? Right, well, in 2019 was the biggest year of the festival, and we had a lot of stuff, and of course, COVID has taken its toll and we're rebuilding it back. So last year we had a good start. This year we've added more vendors. Convention center is completely filled. We have three days of live music. We have over 50 vendors. We got nine food booths. And, and uh, probably the biggest thing, the signature of the festival is the chowder tasting. So we get nine local restaurants with fantastic chowder. For 10 bucks, you get a taste of all of them. Then you get to vote on the winners and they receive a thousand dollar prize. So that is a great local competition. Will that be going on all three days of that, the festival the, or, or the, just Saturday only? Yeah, the chowder, the tasting is Friday and Saturday. Then Sunday morning, it's already sold out so it's too late. Uh, but George here in the kitchen puts together an incredible Eggs Benedict breakfast. Yes. <laughs> and if you haven't signed up, it's too late now, but it is really good. Crab eggs benedict, of course. But there'll be plenty of crab dinners and all the clam chowder you can eat. We got and... a lot of chowder. Razor, and we have razor clam chowder, which most people don't make. Couldn't have picked a better weekend. The weather is just absolutely gorgeous. And uh, so if you want to come down, folks, huh. and get yourself some some crab, some clams, Here they some are. scallops, some fun. Uh, there's the, the big slides going to be out here for the kids. Uh, bunch of bands are playing locally uh sr 109 oh and then kosw is also and djing KOSW all weekend is, is on the outdoor stage so they'll be playing great music as well and of course wine and beer and all your favorite beverages and here they are one more time let's get a little close up so a lot of these are sitting here just arrived fresh on ice ready for you oh as long as they're moving, you know it's good. <laughs> you don't want to eat it unless they're alive and kicking like these are. And I take it these big old vats here? Or are there, are there yeah, this is holding all the ice. We'll be starting to cook them up tomorrow morning. So when you get here tomorrow, oh, Friday, when you show this, is a great day for locals to come down because Saturday is already packed with tourists. So the best time for all the locals to come down is uh, tomorrow afternoon. We opened at noon for, at noon for lunch. Nice, nice. And the aroma will be just tremendous, I'm sure. It will be crabby and razor crabby. <laughs> It'll be seafood. <laughs>
We had a New Year's dig, and it was just uh, my brother and his family came down, and it was quite a tradition. And and uh, I, I think that that's the one thing about clam digging that brings families and and folks out to the beach who've done this year after year after year. is a family event. You see mom and dad and grandma and grandpa, the little ones, the big ones, the old ones, the young ones. This is a very unique family experience and people really, uh, really do enjoyed it that way. I grew up that way myself and so I love seeing others get the chance to do that. It's just so much fun. I mean I'm a big seafood fan in general so I love you know eating all kinds of different seafood but the fun thing too is usually I come out with groups if I can so it's a really nice group activity. I've actually got four daughters so like they all usually if, if I can get them out here they're out here too so it's a fun group activity for sure. Both of us were born here in uh, Western Washington, and I grew up clamming, and so I grew been up clamming. Years, but <laughs> here we are. Well, little, little mother-daughter bonding time. It's been years since I've been out, so but the timing was right, and here we are. I managed to snag an extra day off work. I know it's cool. We have some dogs. I'm mad about it. <laughs> We aren't skunks, so we're happy already. <laughs> Razor clams are an important natural resource in Washington State. All diggers must do their part to ensure that razor clams will be here for generations to come. Got the best crab, you can't even believe how these crabs are.